Welcome back everybody to another Digimon Links video. My name is Xavier aka GodX Pro and today we're going to be talking about next week's upcoming event. But before we get into that you guys, I just want to say I hope you guys had a great time with the Imperatormon Paladin mode, the Omega Mon, and the Ancient Dragon event which had the extra Mega Fragments that you could get in the exchange shop. Also we had the 5 million downloads which you could have got a daily summon for free. Um, on the first multi summon, you only had to spend 1,000. And they gave us 50 Digistones. So, um, the last, the, the past three weeks have been pretty good. Uh, what do you guys think? Anyways, uh, let's talk about next week's upcoming event. So, Grumble.net has data mined that the Crimson Flash is going to be making an appearance next week. They also say, after our three week long fight against some of the most iconic Digimon, we're back with another extra stage event. The event will split up into two parts. The first part being up against Rush Tyranomon, and the second part is going to be up against Rosemon. Basically, in this type of event, you're going to have one whole week. Uh, the first one's going to start off in the way this is looking it's going to be Rush Tyranomon, and then as halfway through the event, Rosemon's going to make an appearance with only like three days to pretty much obtain all the medals you need to actually make a plus four or one or two whatever one that you prefer to have also among the rewards are also new nature skill blue chip and the usual data fragments digi stones and other rewards new event chips will boost the amount of bites you receive and also the rate at which you find an extra stage a s chip will also be available in the new shop pack so in the shop pack as you can see right here event pack one which has Lily on it on the on the picture, which consists of 150 digital the digital washer pack and the specialty chip. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure she's gonna be a plus two. In event pack two, you have uh 100 digital plus a digital washer pack, which consists of the metal Tyranomon. So uh, which one do you guys want? Do you want both, or you just want one of them? Uh, for me, I think I'm going to just. I mean, I have a Digimon that can become Rosemon. He's already a plus four right now. Um, so I'm not going to buy any of that. <laughs> I'm still thinking about if I want to Digivox him into that. I was think I was going to actually Digivox him into an Omnimon, but it doesn't look like I'm going to make it. I got three days left. I, I, I just still don't feel like I'm going to make it because I still got to get some more Greymon fragments. I got to get, um, Metal Garumon fragments. I'm just not going to make it. So whatever. Uh, moving on. There are also new gacha banners, one one for the stun legacy skill and another mega festival capture with the main prize being Rosemon Burst Mode and Ravemon Burst Mode. Pulling the new mega banners also gives you up to seven fragments of either of the Burst Mode Digimon in the banner. However, last time this bonus was active, most people just received one fragment on the pull. So is that worth it? I don't like that. If you only receive one fragment per pull and this banner is going to cost like 200 per summon, that's terrible. Basically, before you hit 21, uh, you're going to spend a, a crap ton of digit stones, which is not worth it. And I would say not to do that. I mean, there's always a better Digimon than Rosemont, you know? I mean, she is S rank. Burst mode is S rank, but. There are other nature Digimon out there that are really good, such as Euphorus Vigimon, and I would actually just go for him if you need a nature hitting unit. But Rosemont Burst Mode has pretty decent stats. Matter of fact, we're going to talk about that in just a moment. So, we're also getting a new Colosseum um, Digimon. His name is Barbamon Mutant, the Mutant version, so that's pretty awesome. Barbamon is actually a pretty dope Digimon. Let's go ahead and look at this Digimon now. So, uh, as you can see, Barbamon is a dark type. He is one of the seven deadly Digimon. An evil king Digimon that looks like a long bearded old man. It lives in the hearts of dark areas and ma manipulates dark angel Digimon to commit all sorts of evil. So, uh, yeah, and he's the brains of the seven dig deadly Digimon. So, <laughs> yeah, this guy right here, he's, he's something. Manipulate, manipulating those angels <laughs> the way he's been doing. Anyways, um, I'm not going to say his signature skill because I'm probably going to get laughed at. So <laughs> I'm just going to say, uh, just move on to what his signature skill does. So moderate magical darkness damage to all enemies with a 
25% chance to reduce AP by 1. Power, 250. Accuracy, 92%. Crit, 8%. And an AP cost of 3. So, that looks really good. Moderate magical darkness damage to all enemies with a 25% chance to reduce AP by 1. That is awesome. Like, if this guy's on the PvP and... Every, like everybody's always waiting for the AP to hit a certain level I mean a certain point and this will help you literally make them rage quit like just think about it poisoning your enemy and then reducing the AP cost I mean this is the AOE unit so he reduces every unit he hits and, I mean he gets a 25% chance to do it but that's that's not bad to actually hit, do for like 3 units 25 okay 3 out of yeah, that's three units right there. 25% chance to do it on each one of them. That's not bad, you guys. I think that's good. What do you guys think about that? I think it's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about his plus four stats because they're actually pretty dope. So, Barberman's plus four stats. His HP, 2904, which is average for most Digimon. Attack, 4367. Defense, 5196. Special attack, 6587. Special defense, 5957. Speed, 140. So, I wanted to say that this guy has the opposite stats of U-Force Vigimon. The reason why I said this, don't jump the gun yet. The reason why I say that he has opposite stats is because U-Force Vigimon specializes in attack and special attack. But he's low in defense and special defense and he's high in speed. But Barbamon, he specializes in defense, special attack, special defense, and he's low on speed. So basically, he's kind of like the opposite of U Force Vigimon. Um, if you look at, if you think, if you talk about the, if we're, if we're talking about the U Force Vigimon AOE unit, he's basically just like that dude. Um, and he's pretty good. Like, he's pretty good. With those, with his special, special attack being that high, I can see him doing some pretty good damage. With that 250 right there, the power of 250. Yeah, I can see him doing some pretty good damage. Um, Grandma.net has tiered this guy A rank. It says Barma has high, has the highest special attack in the game. However, it's limited by its very unimpressive AOE skill. While disrupted, Barma is not particularly great at anything else besides his special attack stats. Like I said, his special his special attack stats are pretty crazy. It's kind of you can kind of compare him to Ancient Greymon because Ancient Greymon's special attack stats are pretty high too. Not as high as this guy's, but it's pretty high. And Barman just seems like he's going to be a pretty awesome unit to add on your um, PvP team. I, I really should try it for this dude. I really should. I, I I don't know. I probably won't be able to make it to like a top some like to make him a plus four. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Barman seems pretty dope. So uh, we're going to talk about Rosemon, the beauty of this event. So, Rosemont is a nature-type Digimon, a pixie Digimon that looks like a rose and said to be the queen of flowers. I'm going to stop right there because the rest of it is just corny. So, um, the resistance, uh, her well, she's weak against fire and lightning, which is pretty obvious, obvious for nature-type units. Um, her signature skill is the Thorn Whip, does massive physical nature damage to a single enemy with a 30% chance of paralyzing for three turns. Power 500, 97% accuracy, and an 8% crit, and the AP cost is 3. Uh, sorry, you guys, I did not talk about um, Barber um, what, what he was weak against. It's pretty obvious he's dark, so he's going to be weak against light and fire, just letting you know. If you were to choose which one, I mean, either one to resist against, I would say light, the same. There's not that many, like, really good fire units out there, so I would go with light. Um, and not that many people in PvP rocking, um, fire types anyways. I mean, there's Ancient Grave of them, but not many people rocking him, so. Uh, moving on to her stats. Her plus four stats. HP, 2904. Attack, 5419. Defense, 5196. Special attack, 5386. Special defense, 5196. And speed, 134. So, plus four stats are pretty average. I mean, like, for, from attack to her special defense is a, a lot better than most Digimon. I mean, it's still average, but it's a lot better than most Digimon. It pretty much tells you she's going to hit pretty hard. Uh, I mean, she has that power of 500 right there, and 
she can paralyze for three rounds. That's pretty awesome. Uh, if I was to throw any type of um, type of resistance into her, I would say lightning. The reason why I say lightning is because Tiger freaking Vespamon, um, Xmon, those dudes, uh, Rust Tyranamon, those dudes are going to be really annoying. And you run into those guys all the time in PvP. That's why I would put Thunder. I, re I would do Thunder Resistance for her. Um, Gram.net tier, single target tier this girl a A. It says, average Digimon, a signature skill has a chance of paralyzing the opponent, and it has real rounded stats, which is a good thing. So, um, what's better than this Rosemont is her Rosemont Burst, Mo Burst Evolution. It, uh, she still keeps the nature skill. It says, a her description says, a unique form of Rosemont that has temporarily reached the limits of of its abilities through burst digivolution, and the rest of it is just um, corny. So I'm not going to talk about that. The signature skill, I'm not going to say that because I know I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> She's still weak to fire and lightning. Like I said, go for lightning. Fire. There's not many fire types out there that's going to be a threat. So um, her signature skill does massive. Uh, magical nature damage to a single enemy and part of it which it absorbs. So basically she reminds me of the darkness type unit. I can't remember her name. She's a darkness Digimon uh, vampire, darkness vampire Digimon that does uh, massive magical darkness damage and recovers part of that. She basically has the same leader skill and I'm pretty sure the power is the same too. So uh, by the way, her power is 500, 95% accuracy, 5% crit and the AP cost of 3. Which is not bad. Um, that ninety, that ninety five, it went down. I think it was ninety seven before. Oh well. So uh, her plus four stats are for her HP is twenty nine eighty eight, which is higher than the original. The attack is fifty two seventy three. Defense fifty two twenty nine. Special attack fifty seven sixty seven. Special defense fifty three eighty six. And speed one forty eight. So every one of her stats gets a boost. And, I mean, I'm okay with that because she is really dope. I mean, she's the same as, um, like I said, that Darkness Vampire Digimon lady that does. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have her. I don't. She's pretty cool. Uh, Grumdunet has single target this girl at S rank. Above average overall stats with a great signature skill due to its draining effect. And it's good defense stats. It is a very durable Digimon. So, yeah, this is a pretty awesome Digimon to have on a team. Especially if you need a nature. Um, like I said, um, she's good, you guys. Um, you don't have that nature unit, go for her. A burst Digivolution. I don't know, because in a summoning, if you don't receive more than, like, just one fragment, it's just, I don't know, that, it's just terrible. Like, you have to do this through a summoning to receive her fragments. I don't like that. It's terrible. Um, what do you guys think? Are you going to go for her burst evolution? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Not at all. This is going to be recovery week for me. I'm still going to go do the event and get a Rosemon and then Rust Tyranomon because I need a Rust Tyranomon plus four. But that Rosemon, I mean Burst Mode, I can't do it. I'm sorry, can't do it. <laughs> That's too much. So I think. Oh yeah, we got Rust Tyranomon to actually talk about too. So let's go ahead and click this guy. This guy has some um, extra features to him, too. So Rust Tyranomon, a lightning-type Digimon. A mega Digimon that has Digivolved and survived through fierce, long-lasting battles that have raged since the birth of the digital world. Enduring many years in harsh environments as a metal Tyranomon, his whole cyborg body is now rusting. So he's weak to water and nature. Um, which one to actually resist? I would say water. Maybe nature. Maybe water. I don't know. I, I think water would be good because you got Omnimons. You got Omnimon Zord. You have, um, Levimon. You just got a lot of pretty awesome water types out there that can do some heavy damage. I mean, there's some really crazy nature doing this out there too. Um, Rosemon. <laughs> just saying. Um, so, anyways, signature skill, Terror Cluster. Does massive physical thunder damage to a single enemy with a 30% chance to paralyze for three rounds. 
has a power of 500, 97% accuracy, and 8% crit, and the AP cost is 3. This guy, um, so he has 2. He has a plus 4 and he has a V2. I'm not sure if the V2 is active yet. I think it is. Because we did get a couple updates, and it could be active now. I mean, this is this all is for global, so, yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about the plus 4, and then we're going to talk about the V2. So, plus 4. The HP is 2904, attack 5767, defense 4816, special attack 5800, special defense 4816, speed 134, and then his V2 stats are max level 85, HP 3126, attack 6541, defense 5497, special attack 6508. Special defense, 5497, speed, 155. Now, it, like, now for me, I think I'd rather go for this guy than um, um, Rosemar only because because his V2 stats are pretty insane. And his speed gets a big jump to it. All you got to do is throw him some um, a speed boost, and this guy is great. I mean, compared to Xmon and uh, Tiger Vespamon, I mean... I mean, right now he has some of his stats are higher than theirs, but as a V two it is. But I, I mean, I'm not sure if that's active in global yet. I have to find out. If if you guys know and you have a, if you have a plus four, rush to run him on, uh, go ahead and check and see if you can up him. Um, don't do it. I mean, if you don't want to, just let me know. Let me know if you can actually version two this guy. That would be pretty awesome. So. Grandma.net single target this guy A. I'm pretty sure after V2, they pr might move it up to an S. Um, it says, although his offense is pretty good, it is lacking in speed and defense, really limits Russ Tyranomar from being a very great, be being very great. So, um, his um, the, his effect to his um, signature skill is pretty good. It's a plus. Um, paralyzing for three rounds, that's pretty awesome. And just massive physical, physical thunder damage. Just at that Thunder Blue Chip, which I don't have. I wish I would have gotten it. I should have, but uh, I don't have it. I hope that they bring it back um, in the future because I really do need that. I need this guy really bad. I really do. And I have a couple of Digimon that can actually Digivolve him. They're ready to actually go because I need. I'm definitely going. If I was to throw any resistance, it's definitely going to be water because that's the only problem I have in the game is these Omnimons. Um, Hitting my dragon type Digimon like crazy, so yeah. Um, and the last guy I guess we can talk about is Raymon. You know, gotta give him some love. I mean, I don't like Raymon at all, but you know, I'm gonna give him some love in this. So Raymon burst mode. I just wish I really wish his power was 100. I really wish it was 100. Oh well. So, Ravenmon Burst Mode is a lightning. I always thought he was dark, but I guess it's because that's the way he looks. Whatever. So, he's a lightning type. His description says, A unique form of Ravenmon that has timidly reached the limits of his abilities through Burst Digivolution. Uh, it's clad is, I mean, in a aura of absolute atmospheric energy. Nice. That sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> he's weak to water and... Um, Nature, which is the same as Rust Tyranomon. Uh, if I was throwing any into him, it would probably be water. Yeah. I think I would go with water. And he's tanky. And he, he can't be, um, I mean, he resists um, poison too. Same thing with Rust Tyranomon. They both resist poison and lightning. That's pretty awesome. Um, don't like being poisoned, you know? <laughs> so his signature skill is the Morning Dance. He does multiple hits, eight of minor physical nature damage to a single enemy. With a 30% chance of paralyzed for two t two rounds. So, which one is better? The fast Raymond Burst Mode or the Rust Tyranomon? Which one do you guys like better? Anyways, he has a power of 97, accuracy 92%, a 5% crit, and the AP cost is 3. I mean, it's minor, it's minor physical nature damage. Yet, this guy's a lightning. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyway, his HP is 20, oh, plus 4, I'm sorry, plus 4 stats for his HP is 2481. That's a lot lower than most plus 4 HP. Wow, that's really low. His attack is 5578, defense 
19, special attack, 43, 59, special defense, 53, 86, speed, 211. So, he has one of the most over overpowered speeds in the game. Like, he's really fast. He's basically one of the top fast, fastest units in the game. Yet, he can't do that much damage. It's pretty sad. But with the nature boot chip, that might actually change. Who knows? So, um, I do have a Ravemon. And I probably should think about trying to plus four him. You know, I used this fragment so many times, which I shouldn't have. Wow, I really should try to get plus four this guy. So, uh, Governor Net has single target this guy as. I don't know why, because every time I see somebody use this guy, he just was so unimpressive. I don't know. I just never seen. I, I just don't like this guy. I mean, yes, yet they S rank this guy. Oh, well. So, let's find out why. It Okay, so it said general information. It's. A hit signature skills powered by high attack, insane speed, and backup by high defense makes this Digimon a very dangerous, dangerous offense powerhouse. So, I guess um, the conclusion with extreme, well, with an extremely good stats and the same signature skill, which even has a chance to paralyze this Digimon belongs belongs in the S tier. Uh, it says rise above S tier with a skill boot chip. Okay, yeah. Okay, I, I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe maybe he is good. Uh, if you guys used him, and you guys got a, like a little video on him, show me how how amazing this guy is. Maybe I might change my mind. <laughs> uh, other than that, you guys, that is it. Um. Ravemon, he seems like he's gonna be. A, he's a pretty cool unit. Uh, I don't have one. I have a regular Raymon, but not a burst mode. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, you guys, that is it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. Um, yeah, uh, I'm. I'm pretty more excited about the Barbermon that's coming out in the Coliseum. He seems like he's gonna be pretty dope. And a Rust Tyranimon, if he has that version too, that'd be nice to get. Um, it looks like we have a chance to get some um, Lotus Mon fragments too. That's not bad. Lotus Mon is actually pretty dope. She has the ability to confuse people too. And I think she does massive nature damage as well. So yeah, that's another unit that does massive nature damage, which is not bad. Uh, other than that, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, consider that like button as well as subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. All right, you know, I always enjoy you guys coming along and spending time with me. So yeah. Other than that, you guys, I'll see you guys later. See ya.